Oh, yeah. 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 Look at Christine's plate, everyone. Yeah, let's take a look. What did she do? Finger paint? It's too much. Yes! Oh my god, what's on this one? Alright, we're going to start now. Yeah, what is the clue? It's really important because I know Tony doesn't like the string narrow. He left that a couple years ago. <laughs> but um, it's very sad for me. I don't think I've ever had to do this. Genevieve didn't give us opportunity to have something like this, so I think this is probably going to be my first one. And forgive me if I get choked up, but um, Tony, mm -hmm. you've been amazing. I've known you. We've worked side by side, and we've been through this together through your time here in DEA. You, pretty amazing in the way you dealt with a lot of situations and and come up standing with policy behind you and how you've impressed headquarters with your interpretation of policy that comes out that needs some more clarification. That's just been amazing. You, I think you've left an imprint, and I know headquarters feels the same. If they knew you were leaving, mm -hmm. I'm sure they Definitely would be happy. sending stuff. <laughs> no, because now who's going to proofread their policy? <laughs> yeah. So I, you've well. left an imprint in this division and DEA, and I want you to know that. Um, there's a lot of people that may not like, you know, policy thrown at them, but Tony was that brave person to set it up there and protect this division and protect the agency and the integrity that it stood for. So I appreciate that. Tony's, you, you're commendable in everything that you did for us and what you stood for, and I really, really appreciate that. And I know all the AOs that have been your supervisor or your direct supervisor, budget analyst, or administrative officer, respect everything that you did and thank you so much for everything you're welcome nice. yeah jimmy got big shoes to fill <laughs> big shoes a little something mm -hmm. a little little something big shoes to fill <coughs> wow wow we don't, don't see the these very often <laughs> no, <we don't. laughs> so i'm gonna <laughs> Slowly walk it up to DEA has retired your credentials. And you can display it wherever you want. Yes. And I can display it your office. Yeah. Or wherever you like. Wow. I actually got uh, another one. Somebody gave it to me this morning. Uh, it's an in case class of a uh, D agent, uh, uh, whatever, badge. The badge. Oh, oh. Okay. Wow. We Yeah, they said they gave it to me. Somebody stick around and said, don't, don't tell people we gave you this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. I I know. <laughs> he can tell us. Oh, maybe you should come around. Yeah. <laughs> maybe you should come up here. Yeah, come up there. Yeah, that would be better too for me. So, cheese. Oh, no, it's the paparazzi. It's the paparazzi. Okay. <laughs> Oh, All right. Thank you, Tony. This is a little sexy. That maybe okay. you wow. could sit under an umbrella and enjoy. Okay. <laughs> well, I appreciate everything that uh, everybody has, uh, you know, uh, done for me. Our, most of you guys, uh, um, I have dealt with personally. I, uh, I just. I woke up this morning and I'm thinking all the things that I did here for the last 12 years and it's it's kind of it's kind of hard to say goodbye yeah. because I'm used to to coming in here and greeting you guys good morning and you know I hope that you know uh, I've 
like Michelle said, that made a little difference, you know, uh, on the depletion. Uh, <clears throat> when I woke up this morning, I, I had a big smile, and then I was thinking, tomorrow is Saturday, and the day after that is Saturday. It's going to be the next day. The rest of my life is going to be Saturday. I'm not going to have any Monday through Fridays anymore. And uh, that's, that's the one thing that I was smiling this morning. Said, Darn, there's no more Mondays. It's just day. I turned on my alarm clock and I didn't reset it whatsoever. But anyway, I appreciate everything that everybody has done for me, all the assistance that I've uh, gotten from everybody. Uh, and I will miss you guys. I'm not going to miss the work. But I will miss you, the people that I work with. You know, it's it's gonna be hard to make this uh, adjustment to, to retirement life. But I got a lot of things to do. I mean, not to do. I mean, I'm gonna be traveling a lot. Oh. That's what my wife retired two weeks ago. She snuck in on me last month and said, "I'm retiring two weeks before you do." I said, "What?" <laughs> All this time I've been waiting for her to retire so I can retire and she snuck in me and then retired two weeks before I did. <laughs> so the last two weeks it's been when I wake up in the morning she wakes up to and she goes, Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> and I hated that for the last two weeks. Every time, every time I wake up and I be getting dressed and everything is where are you going? You know? But she did it for the last two weeks. I guess she can't say that anymore. Comes Monday or tomorrow I guess. So uh, but I uh, I appreciate everything you guys have done for me, and uh, uh, if you see me, you know, somewhere, if we can say hi, I might stop by here once in a while, maybe, I don't know, <laughs> but I have time, time to breathe from my travels and all that, and stop by and say hello. All right. Or maybe... I got something. All right. Oh, she was. Oh, do you need those different clickers for you? Wait, Tony, don't go away. I got something for you, too. How did you get the blade? You <laughs> named the blade. Huh? Okay. Let me tell you the story of this blade. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> this is the story of the blade. So, I was looking for the sack then was Fernandez. Okay? So, uh, he tried to post in a travel voucher and I went to his office and he got, I told him, you know, he's, uh, he can't do it. So he goes, what do you mean I can't do it? You can. So I said, what if I resubmit to headquarters? And I said, well, good luck, but they're not going to do it. So anyway, he sent a memo to financial policy department over there and they told him, yeah, Tony is correct, you know, he, he can't do it. So from then on, he, keeps, he, showed, he, he told me that I'm, I'm sharp. Well, he kept telling me sharp, then one day he goes, no what? I know you're sharp, but I'm gonna call you something. So he said, Blade. Well, all this time he's been calling me Blade, right? and people can hear him call me Blade all the time. Well, people think that I'm called the Blade because I like to put a red thing on it. <laughs> you know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm building a blade. And I try to explain it to people and nobody believes me, so I said, okay, leave it at that thing. But that's the real story. It was Fernandez, it was, it was Fernandez that called me the blade because he said I'm sharp. Not, not because I was slashing the straight ink pen or travel budget. That was uh, Ed Paul's version. That's Ed Paul's version. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, yeah. I don't know if it was a travel voucher. One of them drew a picture. I think it was Fernandez. He drew a picture uh -huh. of, of a blade. And oh, you yeah? put your name next to it. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how, like, down on 19, everybody was looking at the picture. <laughs> and I'll tell you another another story. There was a second year. I'm going to tell his name now. Mr. Delgado. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. so I rejected his travel voucher. Yeah. And then he called me in his office, and I said, uh, you want me to take my admin office? He said, no, I want to see you personally. So I go in there to his office, and he chose my butt. He goes, I've been in DA, blah, blah, blah. And I just stood in there and you know, listened to him, you know, complain about it. And, and he goes, uh, you can't make me redo my travel voucher. And he said, well, sir, I can't pay it if you don't redo it. And he goes, I'm going to resubmit it. He said, I'm not paying. So right there, the two of us were arguing. So he goes, get out of my office. <laughs> so I get out. Two weeks later, I get a call from him again. So I said, God damn it. If this guy is going to chew my butt, I'm going to tell him I'm going to quit. I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm gonna 
first time, <laughs> first time at first. So I was doing it, I was all mad and going and everything. And I go inside his office and he's looking at me like serious and all that. Then, then he just said, before you say anything, he said, I want to say, I'm sorry, I was out of line. He said, I'm sorry, but had he shot my butt that day, I would have quit beer right there and there. <laughs> <laughs> two and Mark two. I was gonna tell him he got no right to to, to to my butt because I didn't come here to get cussed out. So I was gonna cuss him out too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at you! I saw you! Your theater side! Get closer! You just had Mexican food, don't you? can't do it. I know, yeah, it's not gonna happen. This is a. Excuse me, this is a speech that they usually. Well, a poem, not a speech, but they usually read in the Navy upon a retirement. And I changed the words a little bit to fit people who retire from here. I think I read it for Don Latimer that was here. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, right. yeah um, Steve was Sandra King. Mm -hmm. I think those are the only two that retired before you that's been in admin. Okay. But I wanted to go ahead and read this for, um, for Tony. And thank you so much for everything you've done. You mellowed out though towards the end. <laughs> <laughs> he, wasn't, he wasn't coming out as cute as going to stop about that. The last three months. This is all I can see when you come out. <laughs> I was like, she told that ass. <laughs> <laughs> you first ain't asshole and you're coming out for yeah. <laughs> But um, it's refreshing to get somebody to follow the book. And I feel so sorry for Jimmy. <laughs> 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 of us were attending schools, this DEA employee stood to watch. And yes, even before many of us were born, this DEA um, employee stood to watch. Excuse me. As our families watched the storm clouds of the drug war brewing on the horizons of our cities, this DEA employee stood to watch. This DEA employee looked over the city and saw his family often needing his guidance, but knew he must stay because he had to watch. For many years, he stood to watch so that our countrymen and we could sleep soundly in safety, knowing that a United States Drug Enforcement Administration employee would stand to watch. Today we are here to say the watch stands relieved. Relieved by those he has led, guided, and trained. DEA employee Antonio the Blade <laughs> proves <laughs> you, sir, stand relieved. We have the watch. Thank you. And good luck to you. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to salute in the DEA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lupis.